Hello everybody, hope you're having a nettle blessed day. Now today's video, we will be having a follow-up video to the previous one as I kind of showcase my new deck going forward after unfortunately Dark Warrior eventually got hit with the ban list. With the death of Isolde, we are switched back to Orcus, and not just any Orcus, but Orcus is still Horus. Alright, so that, with that in mind, in today's video, I'll be showing basically the one card combo of this deck. Because basically your inboards will be pretty similar generically how you make it. And then also be talking about how Horus and also Bistols can kind of play a role for your deck. So, let's start off with the one card combo. Uh, basically you can do these either way if I'm going to get or with uh, Gearsu. But it's easier just to go through Gearsu, so we use that card first. Alright, so Gearsu has uh, multiple effects. Uh, the first one is going to be our send effect, similar to like Armageddon Knight, send one Orcus Horror the extra card from your deck to Graveyard. One of them always going to be sending. It's our newly unbanned card being Harp Horror. All right. Now, next one is his Edo Portent effect. His secondary effect being that if he's all alone by himself, he gets a little token to his board and also to his opponent's board. All right. So we already get two cards. We're then able to use that token to link it off into uh, Link Karibo. Now, a lot of times I see some players that people go right now straight into your regular combo of Galatea, but what you actually need to do is actually first do the Harp Horrors effect to banish to base special element out one of your nightmares. And use that nightmare and your Link Karibo to link off. That way when you do also use uh, your Nightmare's effect, you're able to get it back to the graveyard easily. Alright, so we're going to link these off. Now into Galatea. Uh, Galatea, you can use your effect now, which I would directly recommend. But basically, we'll now shuffle back. Alright, so put this on the bottom top as a map, but shuffle back the Harpoor to get out and activate a Mavel. Alright, and then from here, we will now send. Uh, where we send our Nightmare to the Graveyard to send our Skeleton to the Graveyard. Well, Nightmare to the Banish, Skeleton to the Graveyard. And then link up with uh, Dingarisu on top of Galatea. And then we're able to attach, if the game wants to load, hello. And then we can attach Nightmare to Dingarisu. And the last part would be for our generic play, without any extenders, no horrors, no Bistols. We're gonna link off everything we have left into like an IP. So this means on our follow-up turns, we will have two nightmares we can activate on our opponent's turn. So that we can go nightmare to send, let's say, uh, what are you going for? Harp Horror. Uh, we can go simple skeleton to bring out the to the pop a card. All right, so let's say we go, they summon out a card or whatever, we go simple skeleton. Uh, we bring out Dingarisu anytime we need to, remove that card right there. Okay, pretty good. And also, anytime we need to, we can also link off with IP and Dingarisu. Go into like a unicorn. If you're playing the SP Knight, you can go to SP Knight at this point to get an additional banish or removal. Ooh, get off my board. All right, and then of course, you know, I mean, if you want to hold off, you can also use Nightmare Effect to banish itself, get out. Uh, Harpoor, Harpoor to special summon out was a brass bomb board or an extra nightmare to get into the graveyard eventually. So let's say we just special summon out that other nightmare. Or even like a Dingaritsu, you can't forget about that because Har Harpoor was never out with Dingaritsu. You bring out Dingaritsu, he gets you it's an extra sin in general. Alright, so that's actually probably a better target for your second follow up play. So then you just send your nightmare up there. And from here, you could actually IP and basically take all for your cards and your opponents and go into like a, a Goddess in Underworld or anything you want to be a topologic, whatever. Okay. And kind of just kind of control the board from there. All right. So that's basically going to be your generic combos plays. And again, that's without any extra extenders that's out, any like Bistol packs or Horus package. That is what you're able to do. So let's reset the, reset the deck. And I'm just gonna change up this hand real quick. I go back to again that one card combo. But we do want to have this one, this middle card. We'll go miss the horse package. And kind of, so I can show you guys kind of what this deck is able to do with the horse package. And why it's actually freaking broken. All right, so let's get rid of all of that. And let's give me our Gisu again. Do, 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 do. 
All right, so we're at this combo right here. Now, of course, we can just start our regular play like normal. We could go Gearsu. All right, Gearsu summon out. Get your lovely token. All right, but we're not gonna go into Link Karibo yet. All right, and of course, the Ingrisu could send, so we'll just send a Harpoor, whatever. Just get him out of there. If he gets Ash, whatever. All right, so that's our first star enough play. Next thing, though. We can now use this guy's effect. Send itself in whatever target you have. So we send both these to the graveyard. We get a good O. King Sarcophagus to our hand. And then we draw one random card. Okay, no horrors, cool. We're then able to activate this. Send our Edward's card with Drew to the grave. To send a no horrors card from the deck to the grave. And this one be our happy if we haven't sent it already. From here, we can spell some out both the Happy and MSD. It's going to both have the effect of King Sarcophagus on the field. Express some out. So this is our fourth summon, mind you. And then we can overlay into, if you had number 90, go into number 90. But for me personally, uh, what does it say? We'll play in like the Sky Dragon for non-target effects. Okay. And from there, we're protecting now from Imperm, Effect, Veil, or DD Crow. Or if number 90 is just protected from all monster effects in general. All right, and then you can come off the rest of the way to get back to the M board. All right, so that's basically what the horse package does for us. And also, it can send an extra Orcus card. Let's say I had Nightmare in my hand or Harp Horror in my hand. I can send it with MSDs or King Psychophagus and unbreak my board. <coughs> get a little crack first. All right, so last one. Ooh, that was probably loud. Last one here was just get all these cards. I just want to have the Lebian in my basically my deck. Uh, basically, what just puts you in the bottom of the puts you just not there. It is just get all these cards. I just want this in the one card combo again to kind of showcase what the Bistol practice does. So, which we'll is get me out Gear Seer again. Hello, where you at, my friend? There you are. So, let's we'll get them out. So, that's someone and boom. All right. And of course, you can even start your turn by sin of the belly, maybe bait out of ash, for example, even like a hand trap, because you don't really add that much off of this deck. All right, because think, was it? Let me just check real quick. First, okay, first, let's get the add from Magnum. What was my Magnum? Magnum, Magnum. So get Magnum off of the billion. But this is a set or activate. Just gotta tell you. Yeah, it's set, so we don't ever really add, so we can even bait out like a Droll, for example. Because uh, like, uh, the Orcus Pass is not added. So that's no kind of cool thing if that, you can bait out a Hand Trap that way. It can waste something by using Nobelian. Alright. So now from here, we go up regular combo play. So we go into a token, we move the token for the Link Karibo. And then, of course, I forgot to send, but basically, we would send Harpoor to get out also the Nightmare. Alright. And then from here, we'll do still regular plays. We'll combo off and get this into Galatea. And now, at this point, you can mess around a little bit with your combo. Okay. Mainly being now, you can special summon out Magnum because you don't want to banish Shield Bailion. You don't want to banish a Nightmare card typically. Just going for like OTK, but you can banish that Link Karibo that's always gonna get to the graveyard. To banish this now, to get out Magnumut. Magnumut will let you add the Jerusalem in face, an like extra hand trap. But then you can trigger it off to get out Lebellion. And Lebellion have that effect, he can then activate basically that continuous spell card we talked about with Regain. All right. So now when we go, let's say uh, Nightmare, we banish, we, we say we banish Nightmare. <coughs> so we can banish Nightmare if we want to, to uh, send Simple Skeleton. Where you at, where you at? Do, 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 do. All right, this could uh, trigger at that point if we wanted to, we can target one of those monsters as Nightmare. Uh, we could shuffle it back, basically, and draw one card. Which we get on opponent's turn, all right. And then also, when you opponent sends card, we can just bring back that bist that we tributed. So typically, when we use it on our turn, we're just trying to get some extra draw plays because a lot of times, unless we overextend, we're not going to use it. 
Uh, but let's say we just don't want to get an extra draw. We could shuffle back that Nightmare, for example, get it back to the, to the top bottom of the deck. So draw one, get the Hand Trap, and then we go Orcus one to basically shuffle this card back to get out our good O. Battle. All right, and then from here, we could link off these cards by going into good old Dingarisu. Nothing to really attach, but then just link them off into whatever to get into a IP or something. All right, you still do simple skills in that way. It's probably not most favorable, and again, I say regain spell on your opponent's turn, because on, on your opponent's turn, when you go for Simple Skeleton or you go for Nightmares in your graveyard, uh, not only do you get their effects still, you can just instantly shuffle them back and draw an extra card, maybe an extra hand trap to interrupt them. And then also, on your opponent's turn, as soon as they summon, you just bring back out that Magnemut, and then you get another ass. So I would say I want to add no Lebellion for my deck to my hand, or my second Drew Swarm. Better to mess around with that. But yeah, with that, that's basically kind of your generic combos, what you're messing with and what you can do with this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because that's helps you support me. It helps me make more videos for you to enjoy. Now with that, hope to us we get us blessed. I hope to see you again in the next video. And with that in mind, I'm out.